a new mayor brings new ideas. Yeah, just actually like an hour ago. At 8th and Grant in Denver, there are new trash bags. They said they had trash bags. If we put our trash up on the corner, they'd throw them away. So don't put any of our personal belongings in there because they're looking for the orange trash bags to throw in the trash. Peaches has been living at this corner for about a month, but she's been a part of what she calls the outside community for a year and a half. Don't take anything for granted. And don't ever think that it could be you. You didn't think it could be you? No. A year and a half ago, if you would have told me that I'd been out here, I would have thought you were crazy. Here I am. Here she is, with the purple and yellow umbrella for protection from the sun. How she got here is a long story she'd rather not tell. Like being able to wash our areas would be nice, you know, and not being kicked out of everywhere right away. The city says other services like bathrooms are coming, but they don't have specifics. As of last week, a designated truck is doing trash pickup every Monday and Thursday at this encampment and one down the street at 16th and Logan. We don't watch the news or, you know, really follow up on anything like that. So um, we kind of just go with the flow and I mean, whatever happens, happens. Peaches doesn't know about the new proposals or promises. She believes what she sees, and for now, that's trash bags. I think that's a nice start. Through the activation of this emergency declaration, the city says they will continue to expand hygienic resources for the unhoused population, but the city has said they will also continue to clear out encampments in a similar way that the last administration did. So we're going to see some of the same things. It's what ultimately, I guess, is the outcome that we're going to have to hold everyone accountable to. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things that the new mayor has said he's going to do when it comes to the homeless population, and we will just wait and see. Thank you, Katie.